When I first started Entra, I had this noble idea that I was going to just start making content and sharing it with the world to articulate my views on, you know, helping people move forward and achieve fulfillment in their life and that it would be easy, right? And everybody would be receptive and kind. And then reality happened and I started putting stuff online and I started getting haters and I started getting bullies and I started getting, uh, what is it they say, some shade thrown my way. And honestly, I, in a million years, I, I thought I was over all my old bullying stuff. I thought I would, had pretty well broken up with worrying what other people thought about me. But man, it's, it's one thing to disregard one person's negative opinion. You say, oh, he's having a bad day. It's just about them. But when you're getting it dozens of times a day, uh, or even as, as the thing grew, it got to where like hundreds of times a day, I went through long stretches of time where I actually had my assistant responding to all the comments on anything that I was posting, you know, finding if there were interested people, they would, you know, try to engage them in conversation and, you know, generate a sales lead and pass it over. Or if it was something too negative, they would just delete it out of the comments. I got to where I, I couldn't even handle it. Um, but eventually I realized that hiding from the world that I'm out there trying to impact is a sort of, a, a sort of dissonance, right? It's contradictory to self. So, if I'm going to be able to be out there in the world and be the, the biggest, best version of myself who makes the biggest impact and chases his dreams fully, I'm going to need to come to grips with the fact that some people are mean and some people are unkind and some people feel bad enough about themselves that to distract from how they feel, they're going to take it out and others and try to ruin someone else's day. And, and I had to come to peace with that. And I had no idea how much I was going to have to re-experience and reprocess what I thought I had dealt with, which was the fact that I grew up getting my ass bullied all the time. And uh, only, uh, now it was just so big, right? It was by the hundreds per day. People talking about how ugly my face is and how gross my body is and how fake my wife is. N not in the sense that she looks fake, but in the sense that I was a fake because she wasn't even my wife. And the fact that I was married to someone who was not as ugly as I am must mean that I'm you know, paying a prostitute to pretend to be my wife in an ad or like it got dark and it got vicious. I had people telling me I looked like a glitch in a video game. For some reason, Grand Theft Auto, I guess there's a, a sequence in Grand Theft Auto where if it freezes up, the character like looks weird and maybe they look like me. I had people asking me if I forgot to take my allergy medication because I had puffiness under my eyes and my nose looked weird. I had all of just this stuff constantly being piled on me and it was never gonna be okay until it was okay. And the only way for it to be okay, you know, they say in psychology that the only way out of the hardest things is through, there's no way around. And I had to sit in it and I had to make peace with it. And I had to come to terms with it and I had to heal the part of myself that it re-exposed and re-injured every single time until eventually there was just nothing left to hurt. And as you might imagine, my life's a lot better now. So I'm grateful for it now, but it was, it was brutal in the process. And so now with Entra, as we help other people embark in their entrepreneurial journeys, like, look, we're not selling sandwich franchises here, right? We're not saying, okay, to get started, you're gonna order your signage and construct your space and you're gonna, you know, slice your lettuce and tomatoes and stack it on some bread. No, we're talking about self-generated entrepreneurship. We're talking about bringing personal transformational value to the market in a way that serves and helps people. And for that, you're gonna have to be exposed. You're gonna have to be vulnerable. You're gonna have to be seen. They're not just buying a sandwich on a plate. They're buying a, a you. They're buying you. They're buying what you offer the world. And that's gonna have to bring up and unpack all your stuff, all the stuff that you know you stuff down and you shove the side so that you could move on and get from childhood to adulthood and hopefully not feel quite so much pain. You might have to re-experience some of that, but what's the alternative? To live hidden away for the rest of your life? To shove your gifts down? To keep it from the world? To go through life believing that if I'm seen, if I'm known, there's no value in that? And so ultimately, for me, entrepreneurship is about like a deep existential question of, am I a person who's worthy of being seen and accepting self in the world? Or am I a person whose value can be quantified as a time for money trade in someone else's organization on someone else's agenda? And getting to that core question ultimately is why Entra does what it does because that doesn't just create businesses and create value and help people make money, that changes the world.